Hey Restoration fans, welcome back to another video. Today I'm with my 68 Mustang and as you can see it's quite dirty. It's like this on purpose because I've been waiting for these cowl covers to come in. These are Scott Drake 1967 to 68 Mustang cowl covers. Now for those of you who don't know, these are the cowls here and some of you may know that they're very prone to rusting and causing problems with water getting inside of the actual car and on the floorboard. So, if you're like me and you're looking for a solution to prevent any debris or water from coming in, definitely stick around. Now, I'll tell you why. I'm going to put these to the test. I'm going to actually show you how they go on, but I'm also going to put a piece of construction paper underneath as I set them on and put this car through the basic weekend car wash. Now, that consists of just one bucket, one mitt, regular garden hose, and some wash soap. Nothing fancy, we're not gonna do any pressure washing or simulating any wind-driven rain, just the basic car wash to see if any of that moisture gets underneath these cowl covers. So if you're like me, you've got an old car, you've got an old Mustang sitting around, and those cowls are in great condition and you wanna keep them that way, stick around. Let's see how well these cowl covers work. Here you have the box, and I wanna go over a few of the points that are listed on this box. As we all know, it's 67 through 68 cowl covers. According to the manufacturer, these are exclusive watertight sealed lock design, crystal clear acrylic, improved protection and fit, easy installation, and also available for 64 through 66, 69 through 70. Now, some of you know there's a Drake guarantee, and I don't really read the fine print, but I can assume that it says, if you hate them, send them back. However, in this case, we wanna fall in love with them. So we're hoping that they work really well. Next, I'll unbox them go over some of the details of the actual product and then show you what I'm going to be using, move on to the car wash and get to the results. Let's take a few seconds to read this cow cover installation instruction. It's sort of important because it leads me to believe that they're semi-permanent. However, let's read them and find out together. Make sure the surface and cow vent is clean. Lay your new Scott Drake cow cover over the cow vent. Check the position of the cow to make sure it's seated correctly. Carefully check the alignment of the lock stems to the openings in the vent grill. Misalignment will cause chipped paint. Once the lock stems are properly aligned, start to install the cover. Using a coin, push down slowly and firmly on the seal lock. Watch the stem to make sure it passes between the bars in the vent. Once the stem passes the bars, turn the lock a quarter turn and release. Repeat this process for the remaining locks. To remove the cover, use a coin to turn the locks one quarter turn while pushing down the lock slightly. Okay, so it's not semi-permanent as I mentioned. This is actually something that comes on and off. And I wasn't quite sure because when I unpackaged them, it seemed as though this was sticky, but it's not. Now, real quick, when I was buying these, my hesitation was that in the picture, you really couldn't tell what was going on with all these wrinkles. Now, I thought that it would be the same on the other side. It does look better on the side that faces upward there's no ugly wrinkles and this is the one that faces downward so it really doesn't matter now moving forward what i'm going to do is cut the construction paper to size here set it underneath we're going to go through the wash and see if this allows any water to go in as you can see i've put the construction paper i mentioned inside this one here and we'll see if it allows any of the moisture to seep through and get the construction paper wet. Not sure if this will work, but it'll give us a good idea. And the reason I'm mentioning that is because once I put it in, I noticed that it does have a pretty good seal around and the construction paper sitting within the seal. However, it's towards the top. So if we do get water in this case, it's like a worst, worst case, but we'll see. Um, I was gonna run the actual construction paper to the end or halfway through the actual tape here but i didn't think that would be a good test so we'll leave it like this see how it goes now the other one i'm going to leave as is just want to show you one more time what it looks like i did go ahead and clean up the area there with some water and a microfiber so that whenever i place this it doesn't sit on top of any dirt now there it is just sitting there and it's pretty basic guys as far as installation you just push these pins down, careful with the paint that they mentioned. Give it a turn and they're in place, ready to rock and roll. Now it does compress it down, give it a snug fit and it looks pretty good. Now I didn't really realize this. 
Uh, Scott Drake has actually made it to the contour of the cowl here. That was pretty cool. The other option I saw was one complete piece, but I didn't know how that was gonna work considering it's got this bend here. Anyway, moving forward, it looks pretty promising. Let's go ahead and get this car washed really quick and see how these perform. And hopefully there's no water that gets inside. After a quick 10 minute wash and dry, I will say that these cowl covers did really well. One thing about this side was that it did build up some humidity and that's the last of it, but it was very little. Now on the construction side, there's no dark blue. Therefore, nothing really worked its way in. But if you look here, there is some moisture down at the bottom. I'm gonna have to take a look to see where that came from. It may have seeped in, maybe through somewhere else, but for the most part, there's no major puddling, which is a good thing. Let's take these covers off and see how well they performed and how things look underneath. So here's a cover, nice and dry. And there's the actual cowl there, which looks really good actually. As I mentioned, there is some moisture there, but nothing major. This sort of moisture will just evaporate and won't cause as much harm as if water was just pouring straight in there. Now let's remove this other one here. And there you have it. Very dry, very nice. No real sign of moisture on that side. So overall, ladies and gentlemen, these cow covers are a win. If you've been thinking of grabbing those so that you can protect your cowl, now you see firsthand that this is the way to go to keep that cowl nice and moisture free. Now moving forward guys, this vehicle's got a lot of work coming up. I do wanna show you that the paint on this car is not that great. It's somewhat original. I'm sure it's been painted once before at least, but what I wanted to mention was that the car looks pretty good from a distance however once you get close you see all these swirl marks and whatnot now my next video is going to consist of doing some paint enhancement which is going to try to remove as many of these swirls now yes i do have rust here and i have missing paint here but it's a classic car and i don't want to put it through a paint job just yet so the idea is just to give it some brilliance to just brighten it up and try to remove some of the swirl marks so if you wanna do that with one of your classic cars, if you have something you purchased recently, you've had it sitting around, and you know nowadays it's a couple thousand bucks to get a car painted, why not try this step first? So if you haven't subscribed, do so guys. I got a lot of videos coming up with these cars. This is the 68, I got a 66 as well that's going through a full restoration, but I'm not touching really this one until we get the 66 done. I'm just gonna do basic things to it because it is a running car and I wanna keep it that way. And I am enjoying it as is, but I wanna do little things to it. Like I said, the paint enhancement and whatever else I can that's not gonna break the bank and cause a whole restoration to initiate. With that said, stick around guys. There's plenty of things coming up. If you got use out of today's video, do me a favor and hit the like button. I would greatly appreciate it. In the meantime, guys, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it and have a great one.